In this example, we have the complex number negative 3 minus the square root of 2 i. And so I'd like to do a couple of things here. The first one is let's go ahead and find the complex conjugate for this number, and then let's go ahead and multiply this number by its complex conjugate. Okay, so remember for any complex number written in a plus bi form, which is standard form, its complex conjugate will be a minus bi. We're just going to change that sign right in the middle. Or you can say we're going to change the sign of the imaginary term. Okay, so when we do that, we'll get negative 3 plus the square root of 2i. So this is the complex conjugate. So now that we have it, let's go ahead and multiply these two together. So the negative 3, let's go ahead and distribute. So negative 3 times negative 3 will be 9. Negative 3 times radical 2i will be minus 3 times the square root of 2i. So let's go ahead and take the negative square root of 2i and distribute them through there. So negative and a negative is a positive, 3 radical 2i. And then a negative and a positive will make a negative. Square root of 2 times the square root of 2 makes a real 2. And then i times i is i squared. Okay, first thing you notice here, these middle terms cancel. And again, that's kind of by design, since what we've done here is we have created a difference of squares factorization. So 9 minus 2, and then i squared, which is really just negative 1. So 9 plus 2, and that'll equal 11. Okay, so we started with negative 3 minus the square root of 2i. We found the complex conjugate, and we multiplied them together. And again, worth noting is when you take a complex number and multiply it by its complex conjugate, you will always get a real number.